Hey, it's Prerag and today I'm going to try to install this cigarette lighter or 12 volt socket which had an illumination ring. These used to be uh, offered in the older polos and this is actually just one piece. I have removed this ring because I'm going to try to attempt to just replace this ring. Now this is the bulb right here which illuminates this ring and this is the 12 volt socket that we get in our polos currently it just has a flap it does have a ring around it but that is not illuminated neither does it have a bulb older polos used to get this and they would often break but I got this out of a Mark 5 Jetta I think and it, it is working I have modified it ever so slightly I'll explain it later and if we can add it over there then there is a reflector behind here as well which can light up and light up this area in the, behind the cup holders this area right there so let's try to install it i'm pretty sure this is going to be plug and play but if it isn't i'll explain the wiring as well so we had to remove the entire center console to access behind this and as you can see there is there is a red reflector here which can uh, induce ambient lighting into this portion and this is the stock uh, 12 volt socket which does not have the ring that can illuminate but it has this plastic cover so I'm going to remove this uh, insert the ring which illuminates into this it has the bulb inbuilt as well and I will check if uh, the connector has a illuminating signal which will make the ring light up when lights turn on let's see so in order to open the center console you need to remove the frame you need to remove the bottom frame over here which will be able to which you will be able to remove if you remove the radio and then this trim will come out you just have to pull these out there's nothing much to it then there are these two screws once you open them up lift this piece up and there are these two screws right there so you remove those two screws lift your handbrake up all the way as high as you can take it if it doesn't go uh, really high you need to remove this trim here and loosen the bolt i had to loosen it a lot to uh, increase the height of this so that you can pull this out you can just pull this out yank it out and it'll be in your hand and there are just two more bolts one two you'll find over there and then just the third one over here and with the handbrake lifted up all the way and this trim piece removed you should be able to lift up your entire center console out and do not forget the connector for your 12 volt socket now with the old socket in your hand you can either choose to replace the ring on top with this which I have removed from the older one which is a little rusted little bent so I'm not going to use that one I'll just use the stock one and to remove this uh, plastic trim there are two locks one right here as you can see and the other just opposite to that you just need to push that in and this will just slide right down and then you can just put this back on and just sim in the similar way you can just slide it on And just like that you can remove the old uh, non-illuminative trim and install the illuminative ring on it just like that and don't forget its bulb which clips in right there just like that it makes contact from these golden pins on itself so you don't have to do anything and I had slightly modified this green part over here. You can see it has a small cut. It used to cover halfway. Now I've made it open entirely because it was for a different car which uh, and the half cut served a different purpose in that car. In a Jetta it uh, used to light up the ashtray but here we wanted to light up the entire red lift reflector that's in front of it. So I had to cut it up entirely. Now let's test its functionality by plugging it in first. So we have it plugged in but uh, nothing is illuminated right now. If I just turn on the light of the car, as you can see it lights up and even the ring lights up and it will be a lot better when, uh, when it will be in the dark and in that uh, console area back there. And this bulb will light up the red reflector behind it and light up the cabin, uh, light up the area behind the cup holder which will look very good. So this is what it looks like now. You can see the light is being thrown back there because there is a red uh, reflector or uh, a screen here which is little translucent it is red so it throws light there and this ring is lighting up red and I have put a cap on it right now as you can see 
I put a cap on it. It says 12 volts so that it doesn't look this ugly because if, if without the cap you can see the inside of it and it looks slightly ugly. So I put a cap on it, and the red light is being thrown from the Passat cabin light, which looks neat. It sort of blends uh, both uh, both the areas in, and it looks really good. So yeah, I added this light because I wanted a little more ambient light in my uh, interior. I wanted to add in, uh, ambient light to the cup holders as well, but before I go after market, I thought I'd add another OEM light here and it's pretty pretty easy uh, pretty easy to find you can just find them from uh, older uh, polos and ventos you can see slight scratches because it, it is very difficult to remove the stock one out uh, from the behind the plastic clip just doesn't want to uh, fold in and you have to use a force from the outside so it is slightly difficult to remove it is a slightly difficult procedure but i think it's worth it uh, the ambient light there looks really good and if, and as i said before i go aftermarket with the cup holder lights and everything i wanted to add this i think my next step would be to add a red light over here a very very dim red light here which will run when the parking lights or the full headlight is on so that it glows a red glow in here actually superb gets uh superb gets small white light over here which looks really neat as well maybe i go with that and it's pretty, pretty easy to find uh scrap superb these days so I think I'll go with that or whatever. Let's see. Let's see what happens next. But this was it for the ambient light over here. And it is it is entirely plug and play. Uh, the procedure is difficult to get it in. But if you do get it in, it is entirely plug and play. I haven't played with the illumination at all. So if, if the lights turn on, this turns on. So illumination was already built in. I don't know why Volkswagen stopped giving it. Uh, it's another cool example of cost cutting. They have done plenty of cost cutting with the newer cars. But it's pretty good to see that the wiring wasn't changed. So you can just add this plug and play. So no warranty void there if you have a new Polo and you're worried about, worried about the warranty. Uh, so yeah, this was it for the small ambient light upgrade. And I'll just show you a few clips of how it looks like. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.